Most teams today have ball screen actions somewhere in their offense or the offensive sets that they run. In order to stop ball screen actions defensively, many teams switch ball screens. Today, national championship coach Dom Billiter is going to take us through three must-have ball screens to use against switching defenses. First, he will walk you through each screen type on the whiteboard, highlighting the how and why you should use each ball screen action. And then next, you will see how to implement these ball screens and drills to help players get downhill and score. And if you are wanting to incorporate these three ball screens into your offense, be sure to click on the link below in the description. That way you can gain access to detailed notes and diagrams of each ball screen, plus two bonus ball screen actions in our free ebook. This will help you score more points and win more games. Now let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. I want to go through our screening actions now and why we name them and, and why they are what they are. We have what we call a step up screen. So anytime we are going to, uh, anytime our big calls out a step up screen, he'll call step up, okay? A step up screen is simply a flat screen on the outer third of the floor. We call those step up screens. I want the butt to the baseline and it is a flat screen on that third part of the floor. Why do we call it a step up screen? Differentiate which part of the floor we're on. If that screen is ever set in the middle of the floor, we simply call it flat. I know, pretty, pretty deep thinking. So it's either a step up or a flat, but the flat is only on the inner third of the floor. Well, why, are we gonna, why are we gonna do a step up screen? You know, why, why are we running whatever screen it is that we're running? Because every screen that we run is to take advantage of what the defense is doing. So let's say we're playing a team that is really, uh, they're showing high, they're showing hard, they're really showing on, on with their big. They're, they've got a very good, strong, athletic big who's really coming up and really trying to bother uh, that one with a defender here. Well, here's what I feel like. Anytime I can get my point guard, and usually my two or my three, one-on-one -on -one with a big, I like that matchup. A flat screen, really takes all creativity and almost the thinking out of it in the sense that it's important that my screener makes sure he nails the defender on the one. He has to get D1's defender. It's a simple screen. I'm gonna have a collision contact legal screen, but I'm gonna make sure I make a collision on his man. I'm gonna take my chances on a flat screen or a step up screen of my one with this much space to work with to get to the outside shoulder of that big and to beat him downhill and get to the basket as fast as he can. I want to stretch that big out as best I can off that flat screen and I want to get downhill. On our step up screens, flat screens, anytime I come off of a flat or a step up, my big will follow and replace pop. He will not roll. He will get in his vision. What I hope to have happen is two things. I'm going to beat this big, even if I have to stretch him out, great. I, I'm going to come hard. I know I just have him. I'm not even going to worry about my guy because I know my teammate's going to set a heck of a screen. So I have to go one-on-one -on, -one on that defender who's being pretty aggressive on his shows. I'm going to stretch him out. I'm going to pull him out. I'm going to get downhill as best I can. And I know my, my screener who just set that is going to fill somewhere high and behind me. So if I am still having issues, unless they fully switch, which I'm good with, I, if they switch it, that's fine. But if he's trying to recover, I've now built in that throwback pass with someone having to scramble back at my big, okay? Or possibly bringing the shrink or whatever the defense has to do to put that fire out. Now you're gonna say, coach, my big, can't, I don't have any bigs that can shoot it. They're not very good at shooting the basketball. Fair, I understand that. That big then, after I set that screen and step back, he will be inside that three-point line. He will be close as he can to still be available, and he is going to now catch it against a closeout, and he is going to know to either dribble right or left-handed as best he can, and he's going to go in and try to attack that rim. He's going to still try his best to get downhill. All right, this time I want to set, uh, since we're in the inner third, okay, on this side we'll be in the inner third, that'll be a flat screen. On this side we're on this outer third and this is called a, is called a step up screen, all right? We'll have step up screen, we'll have flat screen. Anytime we set that, we have done one of two things. Sometimes we'll let our big read it, but most times out of a flat or a step up, our big is going to pop, 
okay? So this will be a step up because we're on the outer third of the floor. This will be a flat screen because they're on the inner third of the floor. Here we go. Again, why are we setting a flat screen? Because they're switching, they're showing aggressively, and we want our guard to know that that big is coming hard on a hard show or is gonna switch out on him. Our guard is getting downhill, and we want him to attack that big. We want him to initiate the action with that big. We pop our big back, our big, because their guard has switched out on him. Our big will be shooting over a smaller player. All right, so here we go. It's on the outer third, this is a step up. And again, we'd have Mike shooting over a two guard or a one guard. We like that option. Here we go. The key is, is to get downhill. We need that guard to attack. We really need to put the defense on its heels. Good. Last one. One of the most effective screens I think we run, and this is something that was told, this I totally learned from, from when we were overseas and, and watching this offense. And um, We call it a waggle screen. We go with our offensive player, our big will simply do this, doesn't even have to call it out. Waggles are incredibly effective when teams are switching. The one thing that we have faced probably the most, um, the teams of what are trying to do against most of our actions, are teams that switch. They, they'll, they'll switch one through five, a lot of teams maybe one through four, but Teams constantly and consistently try to switch against us. I, in, about a, in a minute, I will go over some of this, but one of the best things we do against a switching team is called a waggle, and you have to practice this. A waggle screen is nothing more than the five sprints up to the ball as if it's gonna be a roll up, doesn't matter. He's sprinting up to the ball like he's gonna set his normal screen. The one kind of jab steps, your one has to be aggressive with the ball. He has to jab step, he has to ball fake, he has to rip and go through. Your one has to always be aggressive with the ball, wanting two people to guard him. It's a mentality thing, it really is. They've got to have it in them that I want to guard me and I'm gonna be strong with this ball. As this five is sprinting up, running up, looking like he's gonna set a normal roll up to get us to the middle, and I'm actually jab stepping I may even take a dribble as if I'm going to use this screen. At the last second, he throws his hips and he changes his screen to this direction. It's not a twist. We will show you a twist. This is called a waggle. I'm sprinting. I'm running. It's going to be a, a roll-up screen like I've set 40 times already. And at the last second, I just simply throw my hips and I change my angle. His man has already stopped here because he thinks I'm coming at him and he's switching. This man, the one, is kind of thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go back on the big and try to take his role away by being in front of him. And instead, as this five freezes, cause he's gonna be here to take the switch at the last second with the waggle, I come hard, I get downhill, he's in no position to guard it. And any piece at all my five gets on that one should be advantage. So let me clean this up as you're sitting there going, looking at all that scribble. It's this simple. My five is sprinting up in a normal, Roll up screen at the last second. We say make a C. He'll actually make a C and set it. He doesn't stop. He sprints. He just momentarily hesitates and he sprints back into his C. My one, who's going to have the five switching on him, the D5, takes a hard jab step dribble to freeze him, thinking there's going to be a switch. Now on this waggle move, he's drilled my man who's guarding me and I've got downhill and nothing but good things are gonna happen. Best screen we set, first one we teach our bigs, most effective thing out of this offense is called the waggle. It's incredibly effective against switching defenses. This time we're gonna waggle. They're switching, uh, we're gonna waggle, we're gonna set the screen up, we're gonna make it appear that we're setting a normal screen, and then at the last second we change the angle. You may use it, may not. The offensive player is going to read, the guard's going to read the defender. He may just go with, reject it and get straight downhill. 
All right, here we go. This is a waggle screen. Waggle, boom. And again, I'll talk this one out better. So Ty's gonna sprint up on one side of the floor and he's almost gonna make a C. He's gonna come up like it's a normal roll up and then he's gonna just right away almost a C type action and screen on the other side. It's not a twist, it's a waggle. Here we go. Looks like a normal screen and he just sw switches at the last second. If you notice, the guard in the twist, we set it like it's a normal screen, we come hard off of it, then we have the twisting action and we come back. In a waggle, we are not, at, all we're doing is jab stepping. The defense is making us waggle. We're showing a side because of what the defense is doing. The guard doesn't have to set that up near as much as attack once he finishes his screen, okay? So the defense is why we're setting this waggle screen. Here we go. So Akoi, the deep is gonna set it in the last second he changes. It's up to the, it's up to the guard to read what he has and take advantage of it. One more time, Mike. Waggle. Come back to the side, attack off of it. Good, all right, waggle screens. And this is our indicator that it's a waggle. We don't even have to call it out, but we do need our guard to know that we're gonna waggle. It's something that's very effective against good, hard, high shows. It's very good against switching, okay? Last action that's simple, that I need to explain a little better, that I do that we like against people that are showing aggressive or showing high. We call these powers. So as our five is coming up to set the screen, four or five, whatever big, is setting this screen, and my one is coming very hard, and they've been getting over, they've really been trying to get over that screen. Uh, the, 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 the big is showing high and hard, they're getting over, they're really trying to wreak havoc on that ball right there. They're showing even flat high, they're angled high, even over under, maybe even a mini blitz, a mini trap. Anytime the five or the four, the big screener's defender is really aggressive and the guard is getting over the top, we call what's a power. You gotta let it engage, you gotta engage your big and you simply rim, run as fast as you can go. And we just power that as fast as we can to the basket. And we will throw it up there and we practice that action. We will throw that ball up there and we will try to get whatever we can. This is a power screen. Why do we power? They're showing high, they're going over under. The big is very involved in the screening action. They can be switching. A power is to have the indication of a screen and immediately release to the rim as fast as they possibly can get there. You don't want a power if they're off, they're showing low, they're not being aggressive on the ball. You want a power when they're really jumping out, when the defender of the screen is really being aggressive. This is what powers look like. Here we go, power. May not even be a dribble, all right? Let's just do a couple. They can take the ones they want. Be a dribble, not a dribble. Here we go, powers, so we'll do a series of them. Good. One more. Adam, you're next. To help improve your ball screens against the switching defense, we put together a free ebook featuring these three screens plus two bonus ball screens. Make sure to click on the link below in the description so you can gain immediate access. These three ball screens can improve your offense so you will become much more effective against the switching defense. And make sure you click subscribe and then click the bell button so you're the first to know when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.